and welcome to these Cabbies and Vintage Toys. OMG, I got so many cabbies in this week. I have a massive, massive cabbie haul that I want to share with you guys. I'm super excited. If I didn't know any better, I would think that Santa already came. I mean, there's so much. I don't even think you guys can see all of it. This is going to be a fun video and you don't want to miss it. guys this is gonna be so much fun I have some great cabbies that I'm gonna share with you guys today I have a few that are new to me that I've never had before so this is very very exciting and I think I'm gonna start off with them this first kid that I'm gonna show you is a kissing kid I've never had one of these in my collection it's funny because Nicole and I were talking about it not too long ago and she's like really you don't have a kissing kid like it's kind of like a staple in your Cabbage Patch Kid collection, and, and I didn't have one up to this point. Um, I think people just expect me to have everything, but I, I don't. I'm getting there, though. <laughs> I think I mean one day. So anyways, this is our kissing kid, and he is so cute. I'm actually going to take him out of the box so that you guys can get a better look at him, and I want to see how he works because he, he's supposed to blow kisses. This is Ryan Grant, and before I show you his little kissy face there, I want to just show you guys the box, because I always do. This is the box that they came in, and Kissing Kids were made by Hasbro. In the back, you see the original Babyland staff with Xavier Roberts in the middle. Some Kissing Kids on the side. So, here he is, a little kissy face. <laughs> He's so cute. I love the redheads. You guys know I love the redheads. I love the outfits of the Hasbro kids. Uh, almost all of them. I really do. I love that they came in with the bright fluorescent colors. And I love that it's okay for this little boy to be rocking pink. I love that. Look at his sneakers. are pink and black. And he's got the orange. He is just everything. He's so cute. So right, you guys ready? I, I cheated. I did see him kissing. <laughs> I'm going to show you. It's funny. Ready? It's, the sound doesn't really, it doesn't really make much of a sound, but I'm going to get closer so you guys can see. Can you see that? He's, he's puckering his lips out. <laughs> his lips are puckering. His lips kind of like come out and make a pucker. That is so cute. I think he's adorable. I, um, I can feel like there's a little mechanism inside him you know this these are 40 year old dolls almost but i i do see that his face is <laughs> look at an adorable little kissy face it is it's it's not really um a you know a big thing that, that they do but if you look closely you can see that he's he's blowing a kiss i was expecting there to be a sound but there, when I first did it, I heard a little something, but I don't. And there's no, like, there's no button or anything like that. You're just supposed to press the tummy. But you know what? They're cute. I got a really good deal on them. I wanted to tell you guys, most of what I'm going to show you uh, came from a um, girl from the cabbie community. Her name is Heather. And if you guys are looking for any kids, let me know. She still has a ton of stuff left. I want you guys to meet Abraham Blair. He is a Coleco Splashing Kid. He's the first one in my collection, which makes him very, very special. He's an AA kid, and he is just everything. Look <laughs> how cute he is. He's got a, a little green visor. He's got flip-flops on, his little, his little uh, swim trunks, and his little jacket. I'm going to take him out so you guys can get a very good look at him. But I, I want to read the box here. I want to show you the box. So on the side of the box, it says, let's plan some fun things to do today. We could wrap ourselves in big fuzzy towels and pretend to sit in a sauna. Or we could splash in the tub and make lots of bubbles. Or shampoo our hair and make funny hairdo with the lather. He's got a hard plastic body so that you can take him swimming. 
that's what is so different about him and that's what's so cool and he's I believe I believe he's the first of his kind I believe that he was the first Cabbage Patch Kid that this line was the first ones that um, were made that weren't made with the cloth bodies I don't quote me on that but I'm, I'm pretty sure so on the side of the box you can see <laughs> the little kids with with them and it and that the, the towel on their hair and they're wrapped in the towel and this one's in the tub this one's that looks like she's at the in a sauna or something and on the back of the box is so adorable look at them in the tub <laughs> it's so cute he's so adorable I can't believe that I've never had one of, one of these either but I do now and I love them and I actually think I'm gonna be getting another one from, from Heather <laughs> Because <laughs> when I saw him, I just melted. I was like, oh my goodness, he's so cute. So I'm going to take him out so you guys can get a better look at him. Here he is, you guys. Abraham Blair. Look at him. Look at him. He is all ready for some fun in the sun. Look at his little flip-flops. <laughs> his visor on the side. And his, I love the colors. that The yellow and the green are so cute. It looks so great on him. He's got the corn silk hair, obviously, and like I said, he's got the hard body, but he is adorable. He's so cute that already, I, I just got him and I already want another one. This beautiful little girl is Goldie Tina. She is a 1985 Coleco March of Dimes Creamy. So the March of Dimes were the sponsors um, for, for for this edition that year, 1985, Coleco, and I, I remember that, I remember that, and I wanted one so bad, and eventually I did get a preemie when I was a little girl, um, but she is, oh my goodness, this little girl is so beautiful, I love, she has a little, little curly sprout on top of her head, and she's, so she's mostly bald, but she's got a little patch of curly hair, and yarn hair and she's wearing all purple and she's got she's a number four head mold she's got the passy face but i'm gonna take her out so that you guys can get a better look and her box is um pretty pretty similar to the original coleco cabbage patch kid box it just you know says creamy on it and has little images of little preemies i love the preemies i have quite a few of them already in my collection but I couldn't leave her there. I saw her when I was looking for the other kids and she just, I fell in love with her. Here she is, my beautiful little Goldie Tina. Isn't she beautiful, you guys? She's got, if, I don't know if you guys can see this very well, but she has the prettiest little pink blushing on her cheeks. I love, love, love the number four passy face creamies to begin with. And this little girl is just, she's just everything. She is so, so pretty, and she's in mint. These babies that I got from Heather are in mint, mint condition. Beautiful, beautiful kids. I am so happy with everything that I ended up getting from her. I wanted to show you guys too. So she's wearing a little baby gown, and, and you know, a lot of the preemies came in the gowns with the hats, especially the girls. She also has booties on, and she's wearing a diaper, a pamper. Um, I don't really talk about this much, but most of the early kid Coleco Cabbage Patch kids wore diapers. And I, I think when I was a kid, um, and I think for many kids, that was, was one of the things that was so amazing about them is they smelled like baby powder. They wore pampers. It was like having your own little baby. They're, I, I can't say it enough. They just did an amazing job. But there she is, Goldie Tina. This absolutely stunning girl is Sonia Genevieve. She is a Coleco Corn Silk girl, AA, curly, curly hair. Uh, she is not my first Corn Silk kid, but she's my first Corn Silk girl that came in a box so she's very very special to me and although I am gonna take her out and show you guys I'm gonna remove the outer um, packaging as look as I have been doing she is gonna go back in her box because she's a very special girl to me in, in my opinion and I want to keep her nice but her name is Sonia she's absolutely beautiful so she's the number 11 head mold she's got um, that's the one with the tongue sticking out 
and it says look now my hand can hold so um i don't remember what year it was um in the mid 80s they started making the, the cabbies where they could hold the crayon or a toothbrush or something like that and um she may have come with something like that but i haven't opened her box yet so i don't know what's in there she might have a crayon or something in there but i just want to show you before i take her out i do want to show you the box because this box is absolutely gorgeous look at this so she's got a mirror it looks like she has her little vanity where she can do her hair right where she can make herself really pretty and i do see a little um a little bag there that has hair ribbons in it and i know that a lot of them um i believe they came with brushes but we're gonna see what's inside and then on the side oh look at look at this one right here it's got colors in her hair how cute is this and then she's brushing her hair oh and look at these two they have matching hats so cute look at how beautiful this one i actually have one that looks almost exactly like her i have one in my collection that looks almost like her because this is like i said it's not my first corn soap girl she's just the first one that came in the box so, so i'm gonna take her out now so you guys can see her so i just discovered that sonya um is supposed to be holding this her brush i did say that i thought that they all came with brushes so that's what she holds in her hand and there's a little plastic thing on her wrist and it's got a hole in it and then you stick the brush in there and she holds it and she's got her little hair ribbons right there you can see that they're pink and purple some of my favorite colors she's got this beautiful little outfit on i love this outfit so she has this really pretty white um teal and pink sweater and then she's got the little jacket over it and this a little um dress shorts yellow stockings and then she's got the the teal shoes she's just matching from head to toe this is so 80s this outfit you guys is so 80s it's so so cute oh my goodness i love her and i love her hair she is adorable and look at this so i don't know is this a full shirt Oh, I guess there's a shirt underneath. Oh, there's another shirt too. There's a shirt underneath the sweater. And it's, um, oh my goodness. So you can take the sweater off and have her just wear the shirt too. That is so cute. She is styling. She is totally 80 styling. She really is. Oh, and look, we can just put the brush right in the back. These two here actually came complete in boxes but their boxes were a little damaged so i just got rid of it i'm going to keep them on the cardboard sleeves but these two i decided to show you guys together because they're transitional kids you guys know i love the transitional kids for those of you who do not know what that means i uh, have a whole video on it in my library it's called the transitional period and it will explain that but in a nutshell um they have rose signature on their bums with no date and they have coleco heads and hasbro bodies and these two are both made that way they're both from the same year so i wanted to show you guys them together this little boy is everything look at how cute he is he's got the green eyes he's in a head mold number 11 love his outfit i actually had a kid that was similar to him i believe it was a head mold 12 though and then this girl over here, she is so cute. She, I love her outfit. I love the, the kids that come with these little sneakers. They remind me of the high top Reeboks from the 80s. I had a pair of them and that's exactly what this style of shoe reminds me of. Look at, I came right off too. Aren't these cute? They're so adorable. And I love her hairstyle. So she's got her whole head is full of girls and then she's got the one little pony in the back and her little ribbons and everything these guys are great such a great addition to my collection i'm so happy that they're here okay so the last babies that i'm going to show you guys are called my own babies and i didn't get one i got two <laughs> that's how much i love these kids i do have another one in my collection already uh but 
I got two more. I love them. I love the AA babies and Heather had a lot. So I kind of scooped up almost all the AA babies that she had. But these are so cute. So what happens is the pacifier comes out of the mouth and they cry. And then to get them to stop crying, you put the pacifier or the bobo or whatever you call it back in the mouth. Isn't that cute? So this is Ann Sonia. I love the outfits that they put on these babies. She's in um, all pink, sleeper, pajamas. I love that her pacifier matches. So, so cute. I want to show you guys the box and then I'm going to take them both out so that you can get a better look at them. And I'm also going to show you how they work. So, these were made by Hasbro. And it says, Baby Cries When She Needs You. Baby coos and giggles when she's near your magic locket. There's that locket. I'll show you guys that. And then the baby quiets down when you give her her plastic bar. See, that's open. And those are those little images on the side. And I love this. Look at how cute. Look at how sweet. Look how cute. And it says that they're lotion scented, but, um, you know, the original cabbies from Coleco, they smelled like baby powder and most of the ones that I get nowadays, they don't anymore. They, you know, they're older, so they'll lose it, but we'll see, maybe they will. Maybe they still will smell. Okay, so I took them both out of the outer box. This is Ann Sonia. This is the one that I was just showing you guys. I didn't put batteries in her yet, but we do have batteries and this is Vila Eileen. an interesting name. <laughs> <laughs> she cute though. She's too cute. But um, so this locket, I really don't know. It says that her cries turn into coos and giggles when you wear it, but we put batteries in it, it's not doing anything. But she cries when you take the pacifier out and look. And now she's okay. <laughs> She's cute. They're just very cute dolls. Like I said, I have another one in my collection and I love her. They're just really, really well made. I think they're very, very pretty. Every single one of these that I've ever seen, I've fallen in love with. Very cute baby. They're called um, Cabbage Patch Kids, My Own Baby, and they're made by Hasbro. This week's Cabby Mail was awesome because I got kids that I didn't have already. I got the Splashing Kid and the Kissing Kid. I, I loved everything though, you guys know. I, I love all the babies. The best part though, as always, is sharing it with you guys. You guys make everything that I do so much more fun. And thank you for that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.